Hey guys, this week I've got a quick video to share with you another free widget that I've made and you can go download from museresources.com. Uh, this is called the split comparison widget. It's essentially a before and after widget where you can take two images, you choose two images, and you can move your cursor over the two images and as you go side to side, uh, it uses JavaScript to uh, automatically let you sort of paint across the two images. And then when you move away, it slides back and recenters itself. Now, you might be thinking, Okay, it's a widget, images, like this is going to be a pain in the neck. I'm going to have to I'm going to have to like host the images myself and link to them and write the file name in there. Uh, there is actually none of that anymore. Uh, as long as you're running the latest version of Adobe Muse, which right now is 2014.3, which is not the latest, latest update, but it's the latest, uh, the latest major release. Uh, as long as you're running that, you'll be able to use this widget. And before um, you guys who don't pay for your software freak out and tell me that I should make stuff for older versions, uh, it, this only works simply and elegantly if you're running that latest version. So uh, I wanted to make something that takes advantage of the new features of 2014.3. So head to museresources.com, go and download this widget. And the way it works, it's very, very easy because they've made things, they've made it easier for us to make things easy for you guys. And uh, I really appreciate that from Adobe. So once you get this in here, drag in the split comparison widget. It gives you a little box here that says before image and after image. And the fact that you can just add a file here, this is brand new. Uh, we didn't used to be able to make widgets that allowed you to just add a file where Muse would automatically connect it to the widget, it would automatically upload the file. Uh, a lot of cool stuff happens automatically here now. So before image, I'm gonna choose add file. Uh, I've got my before image queued up here on my desktop. Uh, the after image, I'm going to go and grab that, and it doesn't actually have to be any specific size. You actually get to use the widget box here, the little frame around the widget, to size it however you want, and it'll automatically keep the proportions good. So if you try to squish it, boom, it won't let you. So you, you always end up with a nice, pretty result. Uh, of course, your images should be equal to or greater than the resolution that you're placing them at. So I do recommend that, otherwise things might look kind of fuzzy, which would be especially embarrassing if you're trying to show before and after, and if you're trying to demonstrate quality in your after image. Uh, so I'm gonna go preview this in the browser, and it automatically, it's just done. It's done. It automatically put it together. Muse just put it together with those images. When I upload it, Muse will automatically upload the images to the right place and it is just plain done so it's that easy so head over to museresources.com and go and download this widget and there we go there's the real museresources.com and go to the library widgets page and you can go and download this for free and i'll put a link in the uh, description below so i hope you guys enjoy this widget it's really cool it takes advantage of the latest features in 2014.3 and i think it's a big win for adobe and a big win for muse resources and for you guys so enjoy and uh, i'll have more cool stuff coming soon so please subscribe if you haven't already